Hello, right back again for another test and um, yeah it's kind of well, mid-October now um, and I'm, we're actually enjoying quite a really quite warm unusually warm um, day in October here in the UK and uh, yeah the sun's beating in on me and it, yeah it's making a nice change actually from the cold miserable rain and wind and horrible weather we've been having and um, yeah today I've got a couple of crosses to try now these have been sent by two different people um, I've got one from Marco over in Germany now this is a bishop's crown crossed with a lemon drop well it's either a lemon drop or an agi lemon I can't remember I think it's lemon drop um, but yeah awesome obviously looks very much like a bishop's crown but apparently this turns um, from a uh, yellow colour when it first turns it goes yellow first and then through to red so yeah that looks pretty cool um, so I'm going to munch that one first quickly because I don't expect this one's going to be too hot um, as with most bishop's crowns I know that all the heat is going to be concentrated right up the very top of the chilli the bottom section well I'll prove it now bottom section contains pretty much zero heat as with the bishop's crown but mm, really sweet um, like a red bell pepper but has almost got like a citrus burst in the background um, yeah it's really really nice um, as with most bishop's crowns full of seeds up the top this is normally the quite crunchy bit but this is normally where all the heat is mm. perfumey kind of taste coming off it actually crunching to all the seeds seeds are really really bitter and solid on the bishop's crown and I've been chewing on them and they're still all intact but <clears throat> mm, the heat is really quite mild but ah, oh, they've just got a beautiful flavour and um, he sent me a nice bag of them and um, yeah the day they arrived I sat at my desk at work and munched my way through two or three of them because they're just so nice just to eat um, great for great for putting into um, you know salads and eating fresh in general chopping up on top of food put them in sandwiches uh, you can make a good salsa out of them so yeah really nice and um, yeah if you like mild chilies but ones that have got a nice bit of flavor bishop's crown certainly a good variety um, that one there crossed with the lemon drop it has got a citrus edge to it I will say but it still just tastes very similar to a bishop's crown to me um, but yeah awesome back in variety really cool um, right the next one I got a feeling is going to be a bit hotter this is from David Chillyhead he sent me the seven pot Jonah the other day and with the seven pot Jonah came these now this apparently is a cross between a naga and a, well he's just calling it a dragon an anim dragon now I'm guessing maybe that's like the Thai dragon uh, which is an anim variety um, in itself is quite a hot anim variety 75 to 100,000 scalable units so crossed with a naga could be pretty deadly um, those anims have got that kind of really stingy unpleasant burn sometimes so it'd be interesting to see what this one does so I'm going to call it the the naga dragon Cheers. It's quite sweet. Completely different flavour profile to the Bishop's Crown. Also thin to medium. Mm. getting some heat coming off it now <coughs> ah. <coughs> it's 
struggling to put a flavour on it. It almost, when I first started chewing it, it did have, it did have that sort of floral nagger flavour, um, but that kind of disappeared. It just kind of went a bit sweet, um, and then the sweetness turned to kind of almost a little bit of bitterness coming through as well. So a bit of an unusual sort of flavour on that one. Hard to actually pick the exact flavour profile, um, especially after the real intense sweetness of the first pod. But yeah, the heat is um, it's quite quite powerful. It's on the tongue, um, going up onto the roof of the mouth. There's nothing really back in the throat at all. Um, I have to say because because of what it was, I expected it to be hotter. Um, I expected that real upfront anim burn, but then leading to a whole new level with the nag in there. But I don't think the nagger trait is that strong in it. I think it's I think it's still predominantly um, anim. Doesn't really have the the burn profile or the flavour profile of a chinense. But yeah, it's it's certainly very pleasant. Um, quite a nice taste in chilli, good good usable heat, um, great for everyday use, um, general cooking, um, maybe good for stir fries, oriental type cooking, um, and yeah just everyday cooking in general really, but yeah it's quite um, quite pleasant. Definitely got a good kind of bitey burn in the back of the, uh, back of the mouth, uh, but nothing in the throat, just kind of the roof of the mouth and on top of the tongue. Uh, but yeah, nothing too serious. Um, just yeah, quite pleasant burn profile. So yeah, that was that was a couple of cool little um, crosses to try. Get some more in here. So yeah, that was the um, the lemon crown. That's Marcus is Marco. Sorry, it's calling it. And um, yeah, that is what I'm going to call the Naga Dragon. Um, both completely different. Um, in burn profile and in taste. Um, flavour wise I think I prefer the taste of that one um, but I am a real fan of Bishop's Crown anyway um, but definitely that's got a good good all round burn and um, not too over the top and ideal. Right thank you to David Chillyhead and to Marco for sending over another couple of cool crosses to try. Um, don't know how many more pod tests we're going to be doing this year because like I said it is now the middle of October and um, things are starting to slow down a little bit plants are still kind of going alright I've still got a couple of my own to try I've got a fermenter denade up, up near the roof up there that's now started to turn so I'm going to definitely try that one because I haven't tried the fermenter yet and um, yeah we'll see if anything else turns up in the post as well right thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you again very soon cheers <laughs>